Hello and welcome. You can see it's raining and I'm holding some dirt in my hands. And then there's a wrench. Um, I've done a little bit more. If you take a look, actually, let's, let's take a look at what I've done here. There's my uh, beacon. A little bit. Figured out some uh, trees. More, but um. Oh, and I've got a bunch of stuff. In the chest here. So all kinds of stuff in the chest. My chests are completely unkempt right now, but I've got plenty of wood. You can see I've got well several stacks of wood. Is that kind of plenty of wood? I don't know. I'm a little worried about monsters sneaking up behind me. Oh, let's grab some of that gray wool real quick. And I think today's first project is going to be a whoops, a create auto farm that we'll use to um, to mine out this. Uh, there we go, like that. That's good. And we're going to do this through something called a harvester. Keep picking it up accidentally. Come on! Alright, Q. And by the way, look at my hunger meter, it's going all the way down. Okay, from there. Uh, harvesters. H-A-R-V. Okay, there we are. I want one. Two. What do I need? I'm out of... Oh, I'm out of andesite. Okay, it's okay. We'll make some andesite. I got plenty of this. How about diorite? I'm gonna need some of that. Now, there is a way to save yourself some trouble on the andesite and, um, um, for making the andesite alloy. And that's to get a mixer. But once again, I don't have. Is that andesite? Yes. Okay. Now, in front of here, we're gonna count back one. This is where the harvesters are gonna go. This is where the, um, linear chassis goes. Oops. There we go, like that. Oh, I need one more, I need one more linear chassis. Before I start starving. Okay. Next, we're going to attach our harvesters. You don't need any glue for this, you just kind of stick them on there like this. And you can see they look like lawn mowers. Next, we're going to attach a... Um... Oh, we got it. We got it. Gear shift. There's the gear shift. And now... We only need one other thing. Power. Now we've got a couple of options for power. In our case, I think our power is going to be a water wheel. Just a plain old water wheel. There it is right there. And we need, uh, can't have a water wheel without water. So let's grab some water. Thank you. 
So let's, we're going to pop the, the wheel. Whoops. Dang it. I'm going to have to cover this thing up. This was originally meant to be a chicken trap. Now it's, it's just a me trap. All right, here we go. There's our wheel. And there we go. Okay. I'm making a lever so that we can turn it off and on. A gear shift. So will go in our gear box. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. All right. Sticky mechanical piston. This and this. Now this does get used up. That's how it should have been. All right, here we go. Oops, I got it. It's, it's in. There we go, like that. That's how it should go. All right. Chassis. One, two, three, four, like that. And then. Harvesters. One, two, three, four. Like that. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I've got to replant the thing and restick the. Uh, restick the um, chest on there. But I'm reasonably sure I've got it now. So here it goes. Where's my. Um, Where's my hoe? I got hose on lock. In here. In this chest right here. That's my mending hoe. Oh yeah, I had the hoe the whole time. Alright, now obviously we could do a much more nicer, more... Um... More coolified, um... Setup. Let's get those flax seeds out there. I want I need flax because I need string. And we could extend it, we could make multiple fields, we could do multiple versions of this. Um gonna need another slime ball. Well, I lucked out. I didn't have the slime ball when I started out. I forgot I needed it. All right. This one, only the potatoes have grown to maturity at this point, so I might have some trouble with this one. But um, you can see it's empty. This, this should only pick up one potato. That's the only thing that's ready. And I think I need to put a dirt block. Whoops. Right there. The other thing is, we can cover up this area where the pole is. Where's the rest of my dirt blocks? Let me grab some dirt. Some dirt! And it should harvest it right back up. There's another dirt. Or some more dirt. Some more dirt. Oops. Oh, does that matter? Can I put dirt over the top of it? Does it... I don't know. I know that this is like, it's like, yeah, it's transparent when it's moving, and when it stops moving, it's no longer transparent. But we can hide the pole underneath this little part of the hill. Oh, did that not work? I don't know if it worked. It did scrape this thing again. What is wrong with it? Huh. 
Okay, we should get at least one flax and one thing. My concern is, oh, this is what's going to break it. All right, wait, 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 wait. Stop. These blocks right here. That's not, that's going to break it right there. Okay. So let's try it now. It should just be these. And it could be that we have to, like, stick the, um, chest up higher. The chest should not be, um, having a problem. It might be the movement mode. Okay, look, it's it's fine going out. Look. No problem. Okay, and then we throw it back. And everything's working as intended, and you can see it's brought all the stuff back. And it leaves it it leaves all the stuff replanted. We get our seeds and our flax. Everything's cool. Now there there are more efficient ways to do this. <laughs> One of which is just to put this on a radial rather than a linear where it goes out and comes back. You could just put it on a radial one with a windmill and just have it continuously circling. And you'll never have to worry about it. Um, but I think it's less cool than this one. I, I For some reason, I like this way. All right, well, anyways. Let's process this flax. So this is what the cool thing about the flax is. You take the flax and it turns into string. Ba-boom. And we take the string and we can turn the string into wool if we want to. Ba-boom. So now I've got some string and some wool. And I've got three wool. I've got one of these. Everything's looking good. I've got food. I've got flax seeds. I've got some carrots. Okay. Now, what is our next trick? Our next trick is we're going to... We want to make this... Um, I think it's called an auto gyro. Or a gyrodyne. Gyro? This thing right here, gyrodyne. It needs two sails, two hulls, and a propeller. We could do the propeller. We Multiple types of ways of making a propeller. We want this propeller, and it's just five iron, so that's no problem. Like, we could just take that. Here's a propeller. Okay, so now we need aircraft hulls, and we need this kind. So it's any kind of wood and three, so we could do those, too. That's not a problem. I have the logs, and I have the iron. So let's do those. There's one hull, and I think we need two, right? Okay. What's left is just these two sails. Okay, how do we do a sail? To make a sail, it's going to require white carpet and three string. Well, I've got the, um... All right. Oh, while we're waiting, the autodyne, or autogyro, requires a takeoff and landing strip. So let's build that. Um, we could do it here. Uh, that would require some a lot of clearing of flowers and trees. But we could do it out here. This might be the best place for it right here. So let's get rid of these lilies of the valley. Here are some zombies. And... 
flowers won't hurt the uh, the airplane as it's um, cruising to a landing or anything like that. However, they will be annoying, so... We'll just go ahead and move them. Oh, there it is. I knew it. See him? Where are they? The whole party is there. They don't have any arrows. Alright, something. <laughs> oh, I hate these guys. Ah, there we go. All right, let's get saturated and let's kill this next guy. Still no arrows. I think I ran far enough and I didn't end up getting, um, You know, bad omen, so I didn't kill that guy. Do you think they're all over here? Maybe they ended up underground. I'm going to rebuild that portal. That's the exact portal I'm going to use. So, I assume that guy is still running around somewhere. Causing trouble. I just need one more flax to grow. <laughs> And I can have one sail. I need, and I need the other sail as well. All right, let's. Oh, potatoes. I'll take those too. There's our infinite water source. That's a good start. Let's see if we got any further on our flax.
but I think that's it. That's all we need. Okay. There's our sails. There's our hull. And where's the propeller? Right in the middle. Like this? There it is. Okay, auto. There it is. Alright, let's show you how this works. Right? Okay. There it is. And so you can see that I've got a like... Alright. Now yeah, we're up. And this is a cool plane because it'll hover. It's fine. It's, it's a gyrocopter. Um, it's human powered. So my hunger meter is the engine at this point, or the fuel for the engine. And we could do some interesting things in it. Like, hope I don't crash this. Like I could conceivably like kind of lower myself down into this ravine. But I don't want to do that because I would have to walk back out. I, I couldn't uh, do the takeoff again. Look, there's some iron. And it will crash. I think I just bumped into something. Oh, shoot. Somebody shot an arrow at me. <laughs> All right, you can see the ship is damaged. It's, uh, it's um, having problems. Where is home? Wild Force, there it is. So let's go fly it and repair it real quick. Fly it back. Um, and quit goofing around so much in the air. There's our landing strip. Very cool though, huh? Alright, here we go. Okay. There we go. Now it's repaired. Alright, and we can take off again whenever we're ready. Okay! Well, I think that's enough for right now. Please like, follow, and subscribe. There will be more adventures in Wild Forge Garrison. We're going to build up this. We're going to start building our real base. Um, and I'm going to start building uh, some more uh, amazing devices pretty soon. So, see you later. All right.